Hi there. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever visited a beach as a child? You have, haven't you? Well, like most kids, I love going there too. And I loved this for this one thing. It was pebble hunting. Have you ever done that? Yeah, right. Now, something about them has fascinated me for most of my years. And vividly, it was the colors that attracted me. Now, why am I bringing this up? It's because pebbles are made from rocks and rocks are made up of minerals. And that is exactly what we will be discussing in our topic today, minerals and energy resources. Have you ever wondered what is it that most of our mountains or rocks are made up of? Or for that matter, do you know what the earth's crust is made up of? Well, yes, they are made of minerals. So let us learn a little more about minerals, what they are and how they are formed. But did you know that these minerals are the source of various metals which are obtained after proper refinement? And also, here's the thing that they are also indispensable for our life. From a tiny pin to a building, from railway lines to roads, cars, buses, trains, aeroplanes, everything around us is made up of minerals. It's not only this, they run on energy resources derived from the earth. So what is a mineral? Now there are different varieties of minerals that exist in nature. They vary from diamonds which is one of the hardest to talc which is one of the softest. But what makes them so different from each other? And the reason why they vary so much from each other is because the conditions under which they were formed that were different. So what are these conditions that determine the formation of different minerals? They are very helpful for geologists who study the Earth's crust and also for geologists who study the formation of minerals, their age, their physical and chemical composition. Minerals are usually found in ores. So what are these ores? Let's see. Most rocks are a mixture of different minerals along with other elements. But the only thing that separates an ore from any other rock is that it contains sufficient amount of mineral to be economically viable. So in other words, it's any naturally occurring rock that has a good amount of mineral that can be mined. Now as the extraction of mineral is commercially expensive, the amount of mineral content in the ore becomes an important deciding factor to consider in terms of money. So now we know what minerals are, we know where they are found, the next question that we need to ask is, how do we extract them? Due to it. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.